I'm Joshua Patrick Dudley, and I am the writer, director, and executive producer of the short film Stabbed. Stabbed was one of our very first short films that we filmed for StabbedMovies.com, and we wanted to keep it in the vein of all of the other stuff that we were doing, the Scream series. It was based in Manchester, and it was kind of contingent to our series, like it was part of our series. Uh, but it was kind of like a little side story based on Stab. And it was a short film about a girl who was played by Layla Bafagi, who later appears in Stab 7, Knife of the Hunter, as the new Sarah Campbell. And then we have Nicole Ward, who was in Stab 6, and Steve Dumas, who were in this. And this was filmed at Rachel's old house in Manchester, which was used as Shannon's house in the Stab series. Hi, I'm Rachel Alexandria Arnold, and I was executive producer of the short film Stab. Stab was actually filmed at my childhood home in Manchester, New Hampshire. It's the second time we've used my home. We primarily use Josh's apartment and that's become an inside joke, but we don't often see my house. Um, so the fact that we filmed the entire film at my house, it's the first time we've done that. So it was a little bit different. So that was kind of cool too. And it actually been redone inside. So there was a different living room than what you saw from Shannon's living room. So that was kind of cool too. It was just a short fun little tribute to the stab films that we were doing. When we first started making short films, we came up with this idea that we were gonna do the trifecta of terror. So if we weren't doing a full-sized film or a full-length film, we were at least going to do three really great short films. And what we really wanted to do with Stab is give back to the fans who keep requesting the Stab content. Um, so it was very much an ode to the Stab films as, long, as well as like the normal character archetypes. I filmed a little bit for Stabbed, but not much. I really was very hands-off with this one. I don't remember if I was working a lot at the time or going to school, but this was something that Josh really primarily filmed at my house and I may have stepped in, but really I'm gonna just leave it to him to discuss. So it opens with a girl watching the remake of Friday the 13th and she gets a phone call and it's actually her friends pranking her, but she doesn't know this. The friends are doing the ghost face voice and they're playing horror movie trivia with her. It's also the first time we ever did a split screen for a phone call and also the first time that I dubbed in like Ghostface lines to line up with somebody else, which was pretty cool. Nicole Ward is using the voice changer in the car, but you still hear the Ghostface version of it too. I didn't do it all the way through, which is a regret I have. I think I should have finished it off, but uh, it's cool to hear her voice and the killer's voice at the same time. It was just really hard to perfectly align myself with the way she was speaking, so I didn't finish it literally for that reason, because I couldn't say the exact same words at the exact same time in the exact same pace that she was saying them. Steve's character decides that he's gonna put on the costume and go inside the house and scare her while Nicole's character is still pranking her from the phone in the car. So he goes into her house and he pops out of a door and starts stabbing at her with what he thinks is a fake knife, but it turns out Nicole's character had actually made a mistake and handed him a real knife instead of the prop knife, so he actually stabs his friend to death. I actually played Ghostface for the first few minutes of it, and Rachel's filming, and uh, I played Ghostface all the way through up until the point that Steve takes off the mask, and that was because we were filming with these stunt knives that people kept breaking and I don't want to break them and I really enjoy playing Ghostface so I played the killer up until that point and then you can see even see it cut in the movie to when the shot cuts to a different shot and it's him that takes off the mask and they don't know what to do so he has a little panic attack and Nicole's character comes running in freaks out and then they both decide that it's just gonna look like another stab murder happened and they're gonna get away with it so they go to leave and Ghostface pops up in their back scene and that's where it ends. We were originally gonna film an end sequence there too. One of them like getting decapitated and then a long chase scene with Nicole's character where she gets killed by Ghostface after that too. And we just didn't know if that would make it less of a short movie and too long of a short movie and we also only had the actors for one night. And we were running out of time, it was getting late, you know, it only took a couple hours but we started late because we waited for it to get dark. So it was kind of up to the actors uh, if we wanted to continue and try to do something more exciting. And I'm pretty sure all of them voted no. And Rachel and I were like, whatever, that's fine. You know, we got what, what was actually on the page. We were planning on doing this, but if you don't want to, it's cool, we got enough. So Stab was a really fun uh, experience for us and it was something different, but the same. And it was launching what we were calling the trifecta of terror because we were trying to do something that wasn't a stab movie. So we actually filmed a stab short film so that we could film other short films that weren't related to stab at all. So, but overall it was a great experience and I had a really good time filming Stabbed.